but sometimes to support an addiction to drugs or alcohol. So they engage in the business of panhandling. Like other businesses, they advertise. Can you help me out? I need some help here. Can you possibly spare any change? The sign said simply, we'll work for food. So we took along a hidden camera to find out if it was true. We offered a job clearing land. Well, what about you? do that type of work. What kind of work do you do? I do the, I do the, I do the painting and house maintenance. Uh -huh. I don't end up doing land work like that. Well, it just means using a shovel. Yeah? Yeah. No? No. Uh, I'm going to pass on it, man. In fairness, half the people we talked to said they would work hey, and, in fact, had gotten jobs out here. This man was one of them, but he also claimed he had earned as much as $80 a day in handouts. These days, his take is a lot less due to stiff competition. At the cable car turnaround at Powell and Market, where tourists buy the millions pass each year, a man named Jesse engages in another kind of street business. He sells used cable car tickets in violation of city law. Here you can see him asking tourists who have just gotten off the cable car for their used tickets. And he will resell a ticket, in this case to Target 4 and a hidden camera. You got a ticket? Yes, I do. Okay. How much? Three dollars. Okay. And how long is this good for? Good until 7.30. It's two hours. Jesse okay. pockets the three dollars the city of San Francisco would have gotten. The city says it's losing half a million All dollars right. a year to this kind of scam. When we confronted Jesse, he defended it. You're talking about a city that, that, that's $184 million in debt, doesn't have enough money to pay for services for the homeless, and you're taking money right out of other people's pocket, aren't you? Oh, am I taking it out of their pocket? If I get out of the garbage, whose pocket am I taking it out of? If you, if, you get, if you sell this $3 ticket, a tourist isn't buying it out of the machine. The money's not going to the city. Are you kidding? Where do you think I, hit, where you think I live? In the city. The sheer number of people now making a living on the street is leading some people to say out loud what used to be unthinkable. Deborah Saunders is a conservative newspaper columnist. I think that the mayor has to launch a hard-driving campaign to get people in the city to stop giving money to people who are panhandling. That, I believe, will reduce panhandling. Saunders says money now being given to panhandlers should be sent to organized charities instead. But to people like Bob Prentice, the homeless coordinator for the city's Department of Health, her solution is morally bankrupt. I hope if she tried something like that, she wouldn't succeed. Because I don't want to snuff out the pilot light of compassion. And it's been hard enough to survive the last couple of decades. I, I couldn't imagine if something like that really happened. To me, it would be like the, the death of, of any kind of humanitarian instinct. And, it is that very humanitarian instinct which makes all of this so difficult. How best to help those in desperate need while at the same time making our streets someplace we all can use. It's a riddle whose answer has eluded San Francisco and the nation as well. Pam and, and Pete. Of course, by the way, uh, this story, as we all know, has drawn in a considerable amount of public response. So tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, we'll be exploring this issue in greater depth. And we'll try to give everybody a chance to express their opinion on it. So that's tomorrow at 6 o'clock.